Aloha, it's Kana Kayab Yab, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Also, mahalo to Long Drugs Hawaii for sponsoring the show. Head on over to your neighborhood Long Drugs for all your shopping needs. Honolulu Police Chief Arthur Joe Logan confirmed this morning that the man shot and killed in Waikiki was a suspect in three recent bank robberies. The incident began Thursday evening when officers attempted to negotiate with the man who had barricaded himself in a unit. After hours of failed negotiations, the man fired at a police drone. At 4 a.m., officers used less than lethal chemical canisters and pepper spray. The suspect emerged, pointed a firearm at officers, and was fatally shot. No one else was injured. The suspect's identity will be released by the Honolulu Medical Examiner's Office. A global tech outage today disrupted industries from travel to finance, triggered by a software update from cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike. Flights were grounded, broadcasters went off air, and services like healthcare and banking were affected. In Hawaii, the Department of Transportation reported canceled flights at multiple airports, impacting thousands of passengers. While the state's IT system remains unaffected, residents are advised to check with airlines and service providers for updates. CrowdStrike CEO apologized, stating the issue was due to a defect in a content update. As services are restored, this outage highlights the risks of our interconnected digital world. At the request of the Kauai Emergency Management Agency, KIUC has de-energized the Koke'e circuit due to the ongoing wildfire. Approximately 116 members are affected with no estimated time frame for re-energization. The Hawaii Emergency Management Agency reports that the Koke'e fire has burned 300 acres and is about 40% contained, moving upslope towards Waimea. No injuries or threatened structures have been reported. First responders are working to contain the fire in multiple directions, with air assets joining the efforts this morning. Koke'e Road remains closed from Kikaha Road to Waimea Canyon Drive. Multiple agencies, including the Hawaii National Guard, Kauai Fire and Police Departments, and private contractors are on the scene. KIUC advises Koke'e residents to prepare for a possible extended outage. Maui police report that a 68-year-old motorcyclist died after a solo collision on Pulehu Road in Kahului Thursday afternoon. The man was riding a 2012 Harley-Davidson switchback when he attempted to overtake a vehicle, lost control on a curve, and drove into the bushes. He was ejected from the motorcycle and suffered critical injuries. Despite being taken to Maui Memorial Medical Center, he later died. He was not wearing a helmet, and this marks Maui County's 10th traffic fatality this year, up from seven at the same time last year. The State Board of Education approved a waiver for the closure of Lahaina Public Schools on August 8, marking the first anniversary of the devastating wildfire. Four Lahaina schools will close to allow participation in commemorative events and healing activities. State School Superintendent Keith Hayashi emphasized the need for time to grieve and heal. Salaried employees will receive paid administrative leave on August 8, while casual employees will not. Schools will reopen on August 9, and students will have opportunities to make up missed assignments. Head to the nearest 7-Eleven to find the new Coca-Cola Spiced and new flavors for rain and storm. Citrus Zest, Guava Strawberry, Mango, and Strawberry Apricot. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great weekend, and we'll see you back here next week Monday.